Hello everyone, today we'll show you how to use GSH Copy360 Enterprise to copy to Backblaze. First we need to create a job. Right click and select create new job. Skip the wizard. Now we give the job a name. Copy archive folder to Backblaze. Just a, a good reference for the job so you can reference it later. Source type, this is where you want to copy from. In this case, we're selecting local disk. But if you want to copy from a different network provider, you can click on the drop down and select that network provider of choice. However, in this case, since it's local disk, we'll leave it as is. We're going to browse to the location, the e drive, and we're going to be selecting the archive folder. This is just a tiny folder for testing purposes, for demonstration purposes. Now where it says destination type, which is where you want to copy to, we click on the drop down, we select S3 compatible storage. And before we browse, we need to specify an account to use so we can browse. So we're going to click on the plus sign here. We're going to give that job, uh, that user account a NAN label, uh, just so we can reference it later. So we're just going to call it Backblaze. Account. Now we provide the secret key ID. This is what you would get from Backblaze portal as you create the S3 bucket. And then we type in the secret key. Then you specify the S3 endpoint. And you click on test so you can test it comes back as successful, click save. Now we can browse to the location. We're going to copy it to this bucket right here. Click OK, click save. So we're going to copy from e-archive to this three, S3 bucket with backplates. Click save, right click, click start so that we can start the job. Now it shows as queued. It should run momentarily. If you click on where it says running, it will show you the progress of the job. Now this is copying from North America to S3 bucket in Europe. Shows that we've got seven files, it's copied four or five files so far, and it shows here as successful that it's completed. When it shows a green bar, that means the job did not encounter any errors or issues while it's copying those files. Now, I just wanted to show you if you wanted to copy from Backblaze, what you can do just simply double click on the job so you can edit it. Here it says source type, click on the drop down. Select the S3 compatible storage. And then under connect as, remember how we use this Backblaze account? We can still use that account right here. And then we can click browse. If you click on the plus sign, you'll see the archive folder that we copied. And then we can copy it to any location. You can copy it to local disk or network or another cloud provider of choice if you wanted to do so. Hopefully this was easy for you to follow and uh, let us know if you have any questions uh, and thank you for viewing.